Hey folks, here goes a lesson on Steve Ray Vaughan's Lenny. So it's going to start out with this tricky little chord here. Six on the D string, and eight, and then nine and nine barred. Now he starts out with a seven on the bass up here. And he's going to use a lot of wah-wah stuff on these chords to make them sound really interesting, but we're going to do just the basic version right now. So the A string is muted. So you have seven, then muted A, and then you have six, eight, nine, nine. So first you play that chord. And then you come up here and play this E6 chord. Now that's 12 on the big string. Again, the A is muted, and 11 here, and 13 with your pinky, and 12 with your ring finger. So that's 12, muted, and 11, 13, 12. So that's our first two chords. And then you're going big E, and then the two harmonics on the bottom strings on the 12th fret. So all together we got. And he's got a little riff. He's gonna slide his ring finger into this ninth fret. To the seventh fret of the A string. So and then he slides that ring finger from the nine to the eleven on the A string. So to the nine, seven, nine to eleven, quick slide again to this nine on the D string. And he gets into a little thing. Now, if you get this finger on that little hammer-on pull-off, if you play the second string at the same time with that little bar right there, if you get that finger tall enough, you'll hear all those notes ringing out. That you won't mute that one on the bottom with that finger on accident. That was a big part of Jimi Hendrix's style, how he could make chords sound extra special with having all these... That kind of stuff. So Stevie Ray definitely learned from that, and he's, he's employing that to a good degree on this tune. So we got... So that first one, now later you could do stuff like all kind of manner of different things and he did all kind of different improvisations on all that stuff. So one more time with that intro. Open E. Now to that chord, but with, without that seven on the bass. And then we're gonna have a little riff here. So that's seven on the bottom. Quick hammer, not seven to nine on the B string. And then seven to the nine on the G string. So you get a little, a little vibrato on that ninth fret. Because you're holding on to it for a second. Now here we're doing the A6, the same shape we did up here. So it's five, muted A, and then four, and six, five. And then we're gonna do a... Same type of thing. Now in the third time of that, you're gonna go, you're gonna arpeggiate this chord by going. And that's the biggest string you're playing, down to the fourth string, down to the second string, the third string. So bum 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 bum. And get used to that because a lot of that's gonna happen. So we got. This time, and then everything up one fret. So A sharp or B flat six there. So that was. So kind of double hit that bass. You wait a little bit before you hit that whole chord. And that was biggest to the second string, third string. Slide that 7 up to 10, same chord, same type of picking, down to the 3rd fret, G6, up to the 6th fret, slide everything down one. 
So at the end, just like a nine, and then to the seven, and then a little trill there. We get back into it. Now, if we want to get that whammy bar involved, check out what he's got going here. So whatever manner you want to use, but you kind of need a finger to reach the picking, but you need some finger. I don't know if he's using just his pinky or if he had a couple fingers down there for that. How exactly if he held it like this and had it in his hand when he's doing it? I'm not really sure. Check out that Live at Elmo combo for sure. A uh, great version of Stevie Ray doing Lenny Live back in the early 80s. So let's look at that um, whammy bar stuff again. I'm going to use my pinky to kind of hold it in place so I can reach the pick into Sometimes he like slowly kind of dived on that. And he would change up that chord a little bit. He would make it some fancy thing. He'd hit some of those high 12s sometimes. So he mixed it up a lot, so definitely listen to his, you know, versions of that and get, get ideas. But that's your basic thing. Like I said, we got this first chord has that 7, and we go up to the 12, we got big open, little harmonics. And what you're doing with that whammy bar is you're kind of doing just like a, you need to get your whammy bar where it doesn't have a lot of, like this isn't quite perfectly set up, it has a little bit of leeway in it. But at least it doesn't have too much where it takes you a long time to get to where you're moving the whammy bar. So you want it where you can really go up and down in kind of equal measure to keep keep it on the chord. So it still kind of sounds like in tune, but you're just giving it a good vibration, you know. Definitely take some practice to get used to the, trying to pick with that whammy bar in your hands. So then he starts soloing over these chords. It's basically like an E to A progression. And he's pretty free since there's just a bass playing behind him to kind of go off and get into some... Like he gets into, you know, minor pentatonic stuff, a little flat fifth stuff. So definitely check it out. Uh, Lenny, Stevie Ray Vaughan, kind of the basic stuff to get you going. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'm Damon Wood. Please like and subscribe. I got more Stevie Ray on the way. Thanks a lot.